Hello, my divas. Today I'm gonna do a get ready with me because it's Sunday and I'm going to church. Um, it's one of my favorite days because I have a little bit more time to get ready. And today I'm very excited because I got some new goodies that I need to try today because I was in need of some skincare and <clears throat> I'm gonna try it today for the first time, first impressions, and then I'm, I'm gonna let you know how it went. Um, but first of all, I'm in a clean face right now. I'm gonna start using, first of all, a serum. I got this one yesterday and it says it's Collagen Firming Facial Serum by the beauty standard <clears throat> let's see <laughs> let's use a little bit first because i don't know first time using this how it goes oh it has it has a very <clears throat> soft smell and it's kind of dry. I thought it was going to be a little bit more hydrating, but well, not greasy, I guess. It is hydrating, but I want to use a little bit more because why not? A little bit more. It's kind of watery, but I like it because it's not so heavy on your skin. Hmm. I love how it smells and it's kind of sticky which is good it's good for your foundation mm -hmm. good next I'm gonna use a brightening facial moisturizer with vitamin C and peptides by essential beauty I'm gonna use this one also for the first time. Let me see how it opens. Okay, here. Let's just use a little bit. I, I think I used too much. Let's see. Mm, I think I used too much. Let me use one hand first. Mm, it's not so heavy. Mm hmm. I like it. It's not so heavy on the skin. Lately, I've been looking for more simple products, I would say. But it's hydrating. You could already see it. Ooh. Doesn't have <clears throat> a scent. Use a little bit more. There is that I had in my hands. I always go to my neck because it is as important as your face. Hmm. Feels really good. Feels really, really good. I'm using the excess that I use in my hands because I got too much. <clears throat> Excuse me. My voice is kind of weird in the morning. Next, I'm going to use a eye cream, which is hyaluronic with collagen depuffing eye cream treatment. Because as you may know, you can see me. It's a thing from a family thing. I have bags. I have, you know, all kinds of stuff there. So I'm always looking for products that work for depuffing the eye and making my the coloration look a little bit brighter. So let's try this eye cream for the first time today. Looks like that. Doesn't have a smell, doesn't have a fragrance, which I look for that right now because I know it's better for your skin. Um, that's a lot. It's a cute bottle too, I love that. So let's just use the excess from the cap and when I apply a little bit like this 
also my skin is extremely dry and I need to use some hydration around my eye area as well and I like it I'm trying to look for a smell um, a fragrance but it doesn't smell like anything which I like let's use a little bit more here softly oh and I like when my eye area I can feel it when it's hydrated I really love that. Ooh. Mm, I like it. I like it. That feels good. I like it when it it I can see it already that it, I it my skin already absorbed. Ooh, and it's not greasy at the same time. I love that. Next, I'm going to try this e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Glow Booster for Radiant Skin. So, I usually like a little bit more coverage foundation, but yesterday I should have picked another one because I feel like this is going to be too light. I kind of tried a little bit here, and I thought it, wasn't, it didn't have any kind of coverage, but let's give it a try because I already bought it and I'm gonna use it even if it's very light coverage because I can use it for like every day going to work whatever but I do like the packaging it's glass I like the doe food application oh looks amazing so I'm gonna try it I'm gonna try it and see how it goes a little bit everywhere I like it but I feel this is going to be very light, so I'm going to use a little bit more. I'm going to use a little bit more because I feel like I need it. And let's see how this goes. Um, should I use a brush? Yeah, why not? I'm going to use this one, even though... This might not be a foundation brush, but you know what? It's going to work kind of like... I need to clean my brushes. They're dirty. I think I should do that today. Mm, I know what they mean by glow foundation. Mm -hmm. Actually, my skin kind of looks good with it because I do need the hydration. And it looks really, really good. I'm not gonna lie. Lately, I've been more into accepting my freckles. So I see what they mean. This is like very glowy and I'm not mad at it. I just wish it had a little bit more coverage, but you know what? I think it's fine. I'm not mad at it. I don't want too much of a coverage every day. You know what I mean? And certainly I don't like to have a lot of makeup on going to church now because it's during the day so let's see how it looks with the concealer i could have applied more but you know what i'm not gonna apply too much because i'm gonna try it and to see how it looks with the powder now we're gonna go into the elf um hydrating camel concealer which is very famous and i think this is gonna give me a little bit more coverage um let's see I love the doe foot on this. They're very, very nice. Uh-huh, so let's not use so much at first because I don't know the coverage on this. I'm gonna use a little bit here, a little bit there. Like a little bit more extra than the usual because I do wanna see how it works. And this kind of looks good. I use the excess in the doe foot. Don't blame me. Let's see. Let's just see. Now we're going to use the beauty blender. My dirty beauty blender. I didn't clean it. Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> who cares? Okay. This does offer a little bit more coverage on top of my foundation. And I'm not mad at it. It's fine. It's good. I like it. 
kind of using the excess. That looks good. And then of course, I'm gonna get more coverage with the powder. Don't worry about that. We're gonna come back to it. Let's go to the eye area and see how this works. I feel like it's blending really, really good with the foundation and it's like a fair coverage. Like I don't need so much coverage. You can still see a lot of my freckles, but I'm not mad at it. I like it. When I was younger, I never liked my freckles. <laughs> and then I started like as I age, I don't really care. I like my freckles. Um, sometimes I go bare face everywhere and I really don't care. Not sometimes, like a lot of times. And I really don't care, but you know what? So far, I like the skincare combined with my foundation, with my concealer. Like it doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look weird. It doesn't look like weird at all. It looks really good. Not mad at it. Now let's look for a powder. And I'm trying to get rid of two powders. <clears throat> and I think they're going to be good for this. I'm trying to get rid of these two powders because I paid money for it and I'm going to be using them. I'm not going to throw them away. I threw away a, a bunch of his palettes, but you know what? I got to use my powders. I'm going to use a translucent one first on the eye area. And I'm going to use a brush because I don't like that area to be too dry because then my little wrinkles show too much and I just don't like that. And then this actually works wonders in my eye area without making it too dry. See, that looks good. That looks good. And I kind of use the excess here. Not mad at it. Not mad at it. Good. Alrighty, so let me use the yellow one. Not yellow one, the kind of like more banana for my face. This one. And then. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Let's get another brush, kind of cleaner. See how this looks. I feel like it looks very natural. I'm not gonna lie, I like these spotters. They're good, they do a good job. And they're not too heavy, which I love. I do like to set my whole face with powder, but not too heavy on the powder, you know? Like, I like the foundation to do its job, you know what I mean? But this is a very thin powder, and as you may see, it looks very natural. I'm not mad at this foundation, you know? I'm not mad at it. Because, you know, I thought, and then I was like, oh, I'm not going to like it. Oh, it's too not coverage enough. Because I've been into, like, I do, <laughs> hello, my my one and only, I can never be out of this foundation ever. I need to have it with me for whenever I'm like, I need to rely in a good foundation. I know that I can count on you, baby. But it's not like I want to use it every day because it is a little pricey. Don't worry about me. I'ma be alright. Got G O D all over my life. Okay, so I skipped a little. I skipped because I'm not gonna show anything new for um how do you call it? I don't have anything new for oops, I use I moved my camera. Um for bronzer or anything new for 
blush, but now I'm gonna keep on going with my makeup. Little bit, a little bit, not too much. Not too much of this highlighter. Um, now, I'm gonna continue with my brows. I'm gonna continue with my brows. I'm gonna continue, oh, this needs sharpening. It needs sharpening, baby. So I'm gonna do a night look with something red because, you know, we are in Christmas time and I'm wearing red today. And guess what? Look at this gorgeous Christmas palette. <laughs> I just love this palette from Gimme Glow so much. And haven't used it in a year, so I need to use this beautiful. <laughs> Those colors are calling my name. <laughs> I know I'm being weird, but I, I'm just being me. I'm just happy. Um, when I have a little time for me and to do my makeup really pretty and stuff, why not? You know, I like to feel happy. It's my time. It's my life. It's now or never. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's funny. But I am going to leave forever. Is someone here? No. There's no one here. So, I'm going to start with... Uh, let me start with, I don't have so many clean brushes, but I'm going to make it work today. I'm going to start with the red color because I don't have too many choices here, but I'm going to start with the red in the crease. So let's go with the red. Oh, I forgot to do the eye. I can do the eyebrow bone later. No, I'm going to do it now because later I don't like her later. I don't like it later. Let's just use a little bit of my very subtle highlighter here. Because later, then it shows like a little harsh line right there. And I don't like it. This is cute. Let's what happened, Jane? Nothing. Okay, this is good. And I'm not going to go all out with so much red today. Just a little bit because I'm using um, um, mascara. I'm not using a lot of the... And you know what? I was going to use the red first. But no, I think I'm going to use a little bit first of this color. And blend it um, a little bit because I don't want it to be too crazy. Mm -hmm. So let's go with this one first. Let's go with this a little bit here to make it like a transitioning color and something a little bit soft. Not so much like that. Yeah, that's perfect. I don't want to overdo it because I always tend to overdo it when I want to go simple. And I remember that I don't want so much today. Let's just use a little bit here as a transitioning color and blend it really well. And that's it for this. Now let's go into the red and not too much red. I should use a smaller brush for this one. Let's just use this one because I already, let's use a little bit here. Yeah, this brush is a little too big, but just a little bit here. Let's use a smaller brush. My dirty brushes. Ooh, this one is good. It's not so dirty from another color. So let's use this like this. A little bit more this way. Oh, I like reds. They really bring out my brown eyes looks really pretty 
just a little bit more. Like this. Oh, Give Me Glow has such a good quality. Like, they're so easy to work with. So easy to work with. Like, it's not even funny. And I'm gonna use this red all over my lid because why not? On top, I'm just gonna use like a metallic one. So why not use a little bit of the way to the French? I think that's good. Hmm, pretty. I just need to blend it a little bit more and that's it. Today I'm doing something, not in a hurry, but I'm not going crazy. I don't wanna spend so much, so much, so much time with this makeup look. So let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't worry about me. I'ma be alright. Got G O D all over my life. Ooh, don't worry about me. I'ma be alright. I'ma use a little bit of this to use it right here on the crease. I'ma be alright. Got G O D all over my life. Yes, pretty. Got mm. G-O-D all over my life. Don't worry about me. I'ma be all right. Ooh, that looks good. A little bit more blended right here. Mm. Baby. Y'all look on good. I cannot find my glitter glue right now and I'm in a hurry. So I'm just gonna wet the brush and color it in. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Just wet the brush. And the same red that I used this is fine because it's red too. So let's see. Ooh, <laughs> very metallic. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that red. How metallic that looks. Oh! Perfection. Perfection. <laughs> ah, I like it. And guess what? No fallout. <laughs> no fallout. This is like, oh. Perfection. Perfection. Ooh. <gasps> this is like a very dark, like intense look, but at the same time, I didn't go all out. I didn't use all my spaces in my eye because as you may see, but I like this because I didn't want to go all out. It looks really pretty. It looks really good. And I like it. Um, the only thing I think, the only thing I think I need is just a lower lash moment and a inner corner and I'll be all right. Uh, I love how creamy this one is. So I'm gonna diffuse it with, I think they're same red. Because I could never go in public like this. <gasps> oh, <laughs> Ooh, LA girl. Eye pencil. <gasps> really creamy, just how I like it. And amazing. So the same brush that I use on top, I'm going to use that excess product and kind of go like this and... Mm-hmm. Kind of diffuse that black right there with the red mmm ooh <laughs> okay not bad not bad but this brush would work better 
Let's see. Ooh, way better. Way better. Mm -hmm. And now a little bit of inner corner moment. Should I go silver? Should I go gold? Silver, gold for inner corner. Silver is calling my name, so let's just do a little bit of silver. Let's wet the brush a little bit. Oh, there you go. Let's see. Ooh, silver is looking good. And just a hint of color, not like I want to look like the sun right here. Just a little bit there. That looks good, perfect, good. Okay, so now I'm gonna use mascara. That looks good. Gonna use my new mascara, telescopic uh, lift from L'Oreal Paris. First time ever buying this mascara, so let's see how it goes. How it goes. Yesterday I used a little bit, tried it, and I liked it. So hopefully this time I will too. And I used it without any eye makeup. So this is our, the real test today. And so far so good. I love it when I can see it right away. Mm -hmm. Real nice. I love this mascara. My lashes are very short and very thin and they look way fuller with this mascara. Oh my God, I'm loving it so far. Looks really, really good. I am loving it for real. So pretty. They have never looked fuller. I don't know what I'm doing with my lips. I don't know what I'm doing with my lips, honestly. Uh, but I certainly know that I wanna go nude. So let's see if I have any lip liner around that I could find. I seriously need to organize my stuff, honestly. Lip liner in nude, nude lip liner. I can't find you. Nowhere do we found. Let's just use this for now. And because I already mixed like three lipsticks and I don't like it, so. Mm. Let's see. This really shows. Okay, looks a little bit better. Hold on, I know what I'm gonna do. Looking better. Oh dear, all over my life. Don't worry about me. Okay, I know this is old, but <laughs> I just love it. Natural Beauty 125, 126 Cream by Estee Lauder. I just love. I think I should take off. A little bit of the other one here yeah, to make it a little bit more nude. I oh, should. I Let's see. Way better. Mm -hmm. Way better. Hey, my diva. So this is the finished look. As you may see, I'm not done with my hair, but. I love my makeup 
it turned out better than I thought, honestly, because I didn't have a lot of faith on this foundation. But honestly, it came out really good. Ugh. It came out good. Of course, I'm not doing anything with my hair. <laughs> You'll know. Uh, I don't have time for this. And my hair kind of looks good like this. If it doesn't, I don't really care either. This is my natural hair. Just adding color to my hair and that's it. Color, haircut, and that's it. It's gonna stay like that. I love this look, my divas. So, um, I gotta tell you, I honestly love this. It's one of my favorite palettes of all time. Um, Christmas Morning by Gimme Glow. It's their own, the only palette that I own from them, but I plan on buying more because honestly, I love their quality a lot. I love this palette. Then, um, I didn't have a lot of faith in this cameo and the foundation, but they did an amazing job. Uh, <laughs> the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift impressed me very well, very, very good. And my skincare. I already described them at the uh, beginning. I like it for the price. Really good. I love them. And I'm just going to add some earrings and I'll be back. Okay, my diva. So this is the finished look. I'm very happy on how it turned out. Just how I liked it. I love to show my makeup, but I didn't want to go all out today. And my hair is kind of okay. I washed it last night and... It's kind of okay, so that's it for today, divas. Thank you for watching, and I'm going to church. I'm going to have a blessed um, afternoon because it's in the afternoon, and I will see you, my divas, in my next video. I love you. Bye.